live coverage of the Toyota Save Mark 350 from Infineon Raceway. We had just cleaned up our third caution of the day. The restart has left a big time bunch of debris on the front straightaway. Martin Truex Jr.'s car still sitting idle. And as we sit here under the red flag, we take you to today's Verizon race summary. Six leaders today. There have been seven lead changes. Our average speed, 77.178 miles per hour. And there have been four cautions for a total of six laps. One more time, we check out the last restart. And while we were in break, Walla, you and Kyle both making note of some different things that happened back in the past. It started at the 42, the 83, 42, and two. And that's where those guys had trouble. But the guys in the back were going. Yeah, these guys in the back, as you see that bunch up, you see these guys, they're coming, they're still on the gas. These guys back here, we're just, we're following the front, but as, as you follow the back, you watch this. Right as we, right as we come around the corner here, is if you look at the 42 of one, the 83, and the two of, 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 um, of Kyle, or Kurt Busch, watch those three cars kind of bounce off each other way back here. This is right back here at the turn. Watch the 42 accelerate into the back of the 83. Boom, right there, he hits him. Then he's out of shape. Then you see these guys in the outside line trying to dodge stuff. And then you see the, all these guys, they're coming. These guys are on the gas right here. And you can't really you can't really see around that corner. No. So when they say green, 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 you hammer it, and, and then, you come around the corner, and then all of a sudden these guys are stuck. Ready? This is one. Listen to the spot. Listen to the audio here, too. Boom. Ready, green. I got killed from behind. See, and one just said, I got killed from behind. He runs into the back of... of that car but at the same time he's getting hit from the back so it's just it's absolutely a chain reaction so it was kurt bush that got into the tail end of juan pablo montoya matias ekstrom was the 83 car right yes. in front of montoya and it was not not his fault or anybody's Here, here's what amazed me about this wreck i want you to see where the wreck ended up all the way down here past the start finish line it started down here remember these guys are only in first and second gear that's how much speed they carry on a restart that they carried these cars all the way down almost the full length of the straightaway just running into each other so, so as we clean it up marcus ambrose is the leader they got to be happy in his camp matt all smiles here and frankie kerr at one point you guys had debated pitting under that last caution that would have put you back in that mess yeah we're just a little bit we know we thought about it but um, we're going to stick to our game plan that we uh, started the day with and continue on it and uh, so far it's working out okay so where are you looking at the final window here of when we'll see that 47 on pit road uh probably in the late 70s um we're gonna make one more adjustment and see if we can't beat that 48 car all right good luck thank you it's difficult to ralph